Hello YouTube and welcome to Rock Paper Scissors Reviews. My name is Ahmed and today we're going to be talking about Bork Nagar True North. This is the, I think if I'm not mistaken, the 11th album from the band. Uh, they play progressive black metal, which already as a genre, I think I never heard something in this. No, I never. And it kind of surprised me. This whole thing is a big surprise to me. Just to mention, this is the first time I actually listened to this band. I never heard anything before, even though they have 10 other albums prior to that. Uh, but this is completely the first time I ever heard them. I knew them completely by chance. They were a suggested video on, uh, on YouTube and I just clicked it randomly. And here I am. Devoured the whole album for days. Uh, it's just surprising to me that I find a band like this that been gone for that long and I'd never heard of them. It's one of those exciting things about you know music that you can actually stumble upon type this type of things. Um Bork Nagar, their vocals is a mix between clean and growls, and by growls I mean classic black metal growls, like classic. This is the beauty of this album is that it has these two weird elements. I know Opus kind of, you know, perfected this formula, but to see it pushed more than just death metal to complete pure black, like pure black elements, and then suddenly reverting back to clean, it's something this band like Satyricon kind of, you know, uh, dabbles in, and they do actually perfectly, but they don't do it with a progressive element and more of a... Uh, power metal kind of high pitch vocals. I, I think they don't do that. They kind of keep the clean to much more dark But this band does this. This band goes full extra mile into the brog or whatever this kind of know other element is and then they completely switch gears to black in one song and just to mention uh, all the songs here are long, okay? Six minutes I think is the shortest song. All songs here are kind of stretched out uh, for good reasons, of course uh, But let's dive in Okay, let's dive in. The music that you're gonna hear, as I said, the music mix is gonna be between prog, prog and everything about prog from, I don't know, but I think it's gonna be more the good old prog rather than the just uh, technical. There is a l not much odd time signatures or something kind of wacky like this, but they kind of dabble in the switch of gears, switch of, uh, you know, like tempos and all of that, just the basic kind of proggy thing of course with a switch of vocal and switch of elements however the main thing as i said other than having a complete black metal vibe is that um, there is a lot of folkloric kind of instrumental use and, and singing and chants that really have this make, makes this album very unique it makes it very original very uh, organic in a way so diving in the first track thunderous um this is like a almost Perfect opener for a song. Uh, it has a very weird kind of intro to it that it's just, if you don't have good speakers, you probably would not hear anything, uh, which happened to me. But then I kind of switched to uh, better headphones and I heard like there was something like air or something weird. And then all of a sudden, just like a thunder would do, it just kind of smacks you with complete, fast, aggressive uh, music. It's just, it's, it will blow your mind and then it kind of right away switches gears into very beautiful singing and very interesting kind of vibe, very interesting compositions, and then boom, you're switching again to black, and it's just, it's a perfect opener for this album. And I, I had one of the really interesting, uh, as I would like to call them, super choruses, where it just launches you into the song. It makes the song one of those easy access that kind of become a, rep a repetition in your head. And... This is a very exciting opener for me. Like it, it made me hungry for the rest of the album. Uh, so it has this kind of you know element about it. This next track is Up North, which I think they made a, a video clip for or a lyrics video, one of those. Um, this song is like uh, <laughs> one of the most interesting things I said about it when I heard it is that it almost feels like a power metal black metal or a power black metal type of song. It's just weird it's it, it's fast but then it, it it yeah you have to hear it it's just very interesting power black metal that's what i was gonna call it from now on um 
but yeah it has it has also a very strong progressive uh vibe about it. it it's it's perfect for that but it shows the difference this song compared to the first one it shows the difference that they can do a black metal kind of layered song and then put a brog on top of it but in this song they kind of reverse they put a brog layer and then have the black or the extreme elements on top of it so it, it's a very interesting contrast when, contrast when you change that third track is going to be the fire that burns this is a pure classic black metal song. This has everything uh, you would expect from a black metal song. The, the growling, the melancholy feeling, the, the, uh, the organic vibes, you know, the, the, mel the melody, everything about it. It's a straightforward uh, going through you like an arrow, as I would say. Then we have Lights. And Lights is... It is... Has one of the most interesting and most beautiful singing styles that I heard. Uh, especially in a composition like this, in an album like that, from a band like this. Um, I would say something, and I hope not many people would take it as a bad thing, but trust me when I say this is a, as much as of a compliment I would say to about this band as it gets. Uh, the singer in this so in, on this song, the, the vocals, remind me a lot uh, from Dolores, from the Cranberries. And... This is a band I was raised on. My, my father introduced me to the Cranberries and when I was young. And uh, to me, they are in my DNA. It, it, there is nothing will shake that ever. And to hear a song in today's modern music in, in, a, in that type of vibe between black and prog and to hear a singing that kind of transcends me to that, to that level to take me to have this kind of you know, feeling that I'm listening to Cranberries because it has this melodic singing it's perfect. It's. I think this song will live forever with me as one of my my favorite songs. It's gonna be one of those. If if people interested to make that, such lists, if I even interest to such lists, I think this song will make it easily. Uh, it's hundred percent one of my favorite. There is no denying this. It it's it's an amazing song, perfect song on every element they made. But the singing, the singing, the it captured me completely and. I know some extreme people would not like this comparison, but I think it's perfect to have such thing. And by the way, this singing style, the cranberries, or like I like to call it the cranberry singing style, will actually occur more in the album as we go, especially in the clean vocals. But let's move on. And um, just one more thing, uh, just to mention something before I, I continue. The, the song Lights, uh, if you keep going till the end, it has one of the most amazing ends and builds up, I think, in music, in recent music, let's say, in recent music. It has a perfect ending. I love the build up, I love the singing, I feel like I'm singing along with this song. It's one of those songs that I think will perform live fantastically. Then we go to Wild Father's Heart, and this uh, maintains the same kind of singing that I told you about, the Cranberries one, <laughs> but it uh, also has very folkloric sound. It's very... Uh, as I said, this has one of those organic uh, Norwegian chanting, not chanting, okay, Norwegian folkloric kind of vibes about them uh, and very melodic. It's a beautiful so song. Uh, lyrics even are much, very heartwarming uh, lyrics and it's, it's a ballad. It's a ballad. <laughs> uh, and then we move to Mount Rapture and this is, a again, we go back to this formula that we started with the proggy black metal uh it's very melodic and then it continues to the songs like into the white and then tidal uh they have the same kind of formula re again reused with different kind of switches and different vibes but it's very interesting very um enchanting very serenading i swear i mean it's it's it has a, it has all these kind of elements about it, and these kind of tracks kind of keep building you up because Tidal has this epic momentum about it, and then it throws you into the last song, Voices. And Voices was actually the song I heard first. This was the single I heard first, and I'm surprised that I had to go through all of this just to get it. And this song is trivial in every form of way you can imagine. It's uh, chant light singing, uh, elemental to the closest as you can get. Uh, with, uh, it has guitars, it has drums, but they're kind of, they're becoming much more of a small elements because the lead or the rhythm, I would say, the rhythm of the song is actually the singer. He's the one carrying the rhythm and they are acting as just a small elements that kind of support that rhythm. 
and the serenade he puts, the shant he puts, it's just, again, very trivial, very melodic. Uh, it's one of those very great ideas that work. <laughs> and it makes this album much more interesting because when you go back and re-listen to the album, you can see these elements more. And this is one of those albums that the more you listen to it, you think it's simple, but the more you listen to it, it's much more revealing. It's much more uh, uh, unfolding to you. Every time you feel like I know now the pattern, it kind of uh, gives you more. And I love that about this album. As I said, it's one of those tricky albums. You think it's simple, but they're not. They're much more in, in detail, they're much more depth in it and really enjoyable really enjoyable album i love really the mixture of this prog black metal it's interesting uh i hope you check out uh Burk nagar for sure my final rating of this album is gonna be nine and a half out of ten they are extremely close to perfection um so yeah i hope you check it out really they're worth the time Go grab the album. I think it's on every platform right now. You can just grab it and listen to it. Uh, it's such a beautiful experience. I think it's really, really enjoyable. And one of those albums that I think will have a remark on me that I, I would keep them with me. I would kind of go on with them because they did that to me. They did that more than any album I think I listened to uh, for a while now. I think uh, past the second half of 2019, I didn't hear an album that really clicks like maybe click for a short while or click for a certain period of time but to click with me loading itself into my dna i think this is one of those albums that does this so yeah i hope you enjoyed this review and i hope you really go check uh, book nagar uh true norse album i think you really enjoy it and yeah thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in another review